Hi, happy Monday. We're changing it up today on the channel. I'm going to become a story time YouTuber. That's right. I've got a story to tell and it's going to be good. And you're going to sit down and listen to it. It's not even like an earth shattering story. I just thought it'd be funny for a video. So we'll try it out. We'll see if I'm good at telling stories. I'm not. I'm actually famously bad at telling stories. I end up going down different rabbit holes and I end up never finishing a single one of them. But since I'm alone and I have no one to interrupt me and I can just sit here in my thoughts. So Bambi just tried jumping on the desk and he really messed it up, but it's okay because today's story is about him. So he, he came right on cue. Here's my little boy. This is him. We are BFFs. I am his father and he yells at me a lot. Okay. So a couple weeks ago, I had to leave to go on a trip to LA. So the night before I packed everything up, I got my suitcase ready and the next morning I was going to wake up like 30 minutes before I had to go. I don't like waking up early, so I try to just get up and leave. So I was getting ready to leave the night before and I walked over to my suitcase and I was, you know, prepping it. <laughs> I was sort of looking at it and prepping it. And I noticed that one half of my luggage was like soaking wet, like from from top to bottom. I had my clothes basically in two different sections on the suitcase and one section of it just was wet all the way through. My first thought immediately was like, okay, Bambi got on the suitcase and he pissed in it because every time I'm about to leave for a trip, he either sits on top of the suitcase or he'll sit inside of it or he'll just like be around it because I think he knows that that means that I'm leaving and he's not a big fan of that. But I grabbed these clothes and I put them up near my face and I sniffed them and they, they didn't smell like anything. They smelled like wet clothes. And so I was confused because I was like, how could this have happened? Part of me thought that maybe I put my water bottle in the suitcase and then it somehow unscrewed and a bunch of water, you know, soaked everything. And then I maybe took the water bottle out without realizing that it was empty and I put it somewhere else. I don't know. But these were the things that were going through my head, but it didn't smell like cat piss. So I wasn't worried about it. I didn't think it was a problem. I went on my Instagram story, my close friend story. Sorry. So you guys didn't see it because you're not a close friend of mine, but I put a post out to my close friends and I basically explained the situation. I was like, Hey, there, my clothes are soaking wet. Is there any way that this is cat piss? Like, would I know if it's cat piss? Cause it, if you were a cat owner, you know the smell of cat piss. It haunts you. And cat piss haunts me. He, he's he been kind of a mess the past month or so. And so I've I've had to deal with him peeing on certain things. Um, but mostly it's not an issue. He's never like peed without reason, you know? It's only ever if the litter changes or if he gets trapped in a drawer or something, which just recently happened. So I put out this story and I'll play a clip of it so you can see what I asked, basically. I've got a question. If it seems like my cat piss in my luggage because a bunch of my clothes got wet but then I smell them and it doesn't smell like there's cat pee on it I'd like know sorry this question's confusing but I'd like know if it was cat pee right like it'd be very obvious or is there a world where like he's so well hydrated that everything smells like it's probably just water look how wet everything got there's all this stuff and wet I would know if it was cat pee right because like his cat pee stinks like, I've smelled it before when he's pissed on something. So it, I would know, right? I feel like I'm starting to trick myself that there might be a smell, but I don't, I would smell it, right? I, I, I'm like baffled. I don't know how I could have, my clothes could have gotten that wet. I also just don't think he has that much pee in him too. I mean, that stuff was wet. And my friends got back to me and I had multiple people who own cats, probably like five or six people message me and say, no, I don't think it's an issue. You would know if it's cat piss. You, you would absolutely know if it's cat piss. And I was like, yes, that's what I thought. I thought that too, because cat piss is super pungent. You can smell it across the house. It's unmistakable. So I grab all these clothes and I'm like, well, I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, I need to lay it out and let it dry. And in the morning, I'll probably be able to tell whether or not these are okay to take to the airport. But I was under the impression that if I just laid them out, they would dry, I'd be fine, story over, I'd go to LA the next day, party it up. I wake up the next morning and I'm getting ready to leave and I'm like, oh, all my clothes are laid out, let me see what the deal is. And I walk over to it and I sniff, I sniff some of my clothes and I immediately, immediately smell the cat piss smell. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna be as upset as I actually am. I woke up, laid all my clothes out that held them and yep 
this it smells like cat piss i don't know why his piss didn't smell last night uh i think i think i have to delay my trip because i also have to go to the store and get med so i think i'm gonna have to come to la later in like a couple hours if i somehow can so that's awesome that's cool i have to wash out my clothes um fuck half of my clothes were were just dr dried up with cat piss and they were disgusting and the smell was just awful and so i made another post in my story i'm freaking out i'm about to leave for the airport i was supposed to call an uber basically that moment and i now learned that all my clothes were were covered in cat piss and i didn't know what to do because i don't have enough clothes to pack a, well, another half of my suitcase and also i wanted to wear those clothes so i didn't want to pick new clothes i didn't want to pick my my b team for outfits that i was going to wear in la that's so that's not cool so i think about it and i understand at this point that i'm not going to make it to the airport in time because there was cat piss everywhere i was frantic it was a lot so i call american airlines and they're like okay if you want us to call you back you have to leave your number and we'll call you back whenever we're ready to take care of you i was like okay cool like an hour passes and they finally call me and i pick it up and the person working there asks me what i need and i'm like okay a bit of an emergency happened i need to delay my flight are there any other flights that i can take i would have done this online because i'm someone who doesn't like to call customer service because it is a pain in my ass but they didn't have that option because it was so close to my flight so then the customer service lady is like okay i'll help you look for a flight um what is what is your name and your account number all that jazz i give it to her and then she says it looks like you have a flight at 11 a.m and i said yes i do it's at 11 a.m that's that's when my flight was and so then she says verbatim you're asking me to help you find a flight but you already have one and i was like no dude that's that's what I'm calling about is that I just I, there's an emergency and I need to delay the flight and you have to give American Airlines your info before they pick up the call. So they already knew I had a flight. That's how I called because I called through my my flight thing that was messed up. I had to call anyways, quick annoyance, but I get the flight delayed till the end of the day. That's great. I get to hang out for a little bit and I go to the airport and all is fine and good. Besides the flight, it was awful. I sat next to someone who smelled really bad. So the trip to LA goes by. It was a good time. I come back home. I put my suitcase down in my apartment and I open it up and for maybe like 30 seconds, I walk out of the room to leave to go to my room. And then I come back and I'll just roll the clip. I walk, this is what I walk into. He's fucking peeing in the suitcase again. I'm trying to push him off, but he keeps peeing. I don't want to get it anywhere else. Why do you keep peeing in the suitcase? What is the suitcase providing to you that this expensive ass litter box? I, he's still going. How are you still peeing? Oh my God. No, that's against the rules. You're not allowed to do that. Guys. Oh my God. This is awful. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Why, how did he get me again? Oh my god, I opened it up for two seconds, and he jumps on it, and he's immediately in piss mode. Why, dude? I just cleaned his litter box. It's, it is completely clean. God, you gotta be joking right now. So yeah, that's basically what happened. He pissed in my suitcase a second time because I left him for like two seconds and he probably thought I was packing again and he get freaked out. The worst part about all of this is that I'm someone who does not like yelling at their animals. I know, clap for me, I'm a freaking saint. But it's literally just because I know that they have no idea what I'm saying. Like, I can't be mad at Bambi for pissing in my suitcase because the first time, by the time I knew he pissed in my suitcase, a day had passed and he wouldn't have any idea what I was talking about. Sure, I can, like, hold him next to the piss and have him sniff it, but he sniffs his own piss all the time. What is that going to tell him? And also, like, he was just anxious, you know? He wasn't trying to screw with me or anything. He just kind of freaked out, I guess. I don't know. And he's like a year old. What am I going to do? Yell at him? That's not going to fix anything. So I couldn't even do it when I when I saw him the second time. I walked in the room and he was sitting on the suitcase and I ran over and I tried grabbing him. And when I picked him up, I could see him still pissing. And I knew that if I picked him up, he would piss everywhere. And so I just kind of let him do it. And then I threw everything in the wash and ran it twice. So yeah, that's my cat piss suitcase story. And there's not it's not that good of a story i just thought it was kind of funny and i had video to show so i thought i'd make some money off of it okay so if you liked it maybe show it to someone and if you didn't like it then just turn the video off and go away because i i don't need that negativity in my life my cat pissed in my suitcase twice this week anyways that's it thanks for watching um i'm, I'm hoping to get another 
brother for Bambi soon. I'm I'm thinking about it, but it kind of freaks me out because you know a pet is a lot to take care of, and I already have most of the stuff down. I feel like it would just make Bambi happier. So it's like I already know how to feed them, and the litter situation's taken care of, and all this jazz. But we'll see if I end up doing it. I think I should, but you know. It is what it is. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and that you find a, a, a $100 bail on the ground. And a genie comes out of it and grants you three wishes, I guess. That's it.